Well, it's lunchtime again, and I have another meal review for you. This time, it is the Caldera Chicken Curry from Wild Zora. If you're interested in seeing what it looks like and tastes like, keep watching. So once again, this is the Caldera Chicken To Go from Wild Zora. It is in the Wild Zora Paleo Meals To Go line. It has no gluten, no grain, no nuts, no milk, or added sugars. It has 35 grams of protein coming from free-range chickens. Let me read some of the ingredients to you and the instructions and we'll get down to making it. So first, there is free-range chicken, organic spinach, pineapple, coconut, red bell pepper, sweet potato, onion, green onion, turmeric, cayenne, chili, peppers, spices, sea salt, and garlic. That's it. No artificial ingredients, no uh, preservatives put in here at all. So the instructions, again, are really simple as well. Tear open the bag, remove the small oxygen absorber, reseal the bag, turn it upside down and shake it to distribute the spices and all the ingredients. Pour approximately one and a half cups of preferably hot water into the bag. Stir, reseal, let it stand five to 15 minutes, eat and enjoy. So let's do that. Let's get some hot water on. We'll put this meal together and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so my water is to a boil. Let's take a look and see what it looks like inside the package. Didn't leave myself very much of a lip to get the fingers. There we go. All right. All right, take the oxygen absorber out, reseal. Shake it all up, open it back up again. Wow, okay. See what I can show you as far as huge chunks of chicken, along with all the other ingredients inside there. Looking good. Now, where's my spoon? There it is. Get the water off. Pour that in without scalding myself. Very good. Give it a stir. Now my experience has been with the Wild Zora meals so far is that it doesn't take very long at all to rehydrate. And some other meals that I've had from other brands, when they say 15 to 18 minutes, they mean 18 to 20 often. Not so with the Wild Zora. All right, well, that looks like it's pretty much all engaged. Smells good already. I can smell the pineapple. That's kind of cool. All right, that's all I have to do, and I'll wait five to ten minutes, and then we'll come back and we'll give it a taste test. Okay, so I went ahead and put the meal into a bowl rather than show you my dumping it in here. And that gave me an opportunity to make an observation as well. So I'll show you what it looks like. You can see the chicken and all the ingredients. All right. Back in my hammock here. Okay. What does it taste like? Lord, they're spicy. I mean, not outrageously spicy, not something that's saying hot, can't eat it. Just spicier than the average prepackaged meal. It was interesting while I was waiting for it to rehydrate. I took the package and went to the back of it because it occurred to me the last time I read one of these, it had add spices and ghee. If you wanted to add the extra calories from the ghee, this says nothing of the sort. It doesn't say anything about adding spices. I think I see why. Hmm. I did bring a spice kit, but I don't think I'll be using it. There is a quite a strong pineapple taste, and there's huge chunks of pineapple floating around here. I thought I looked at that and thought that's chicken. No, 
<laughs> that's pineapple. That's chicken. So when I first bit into the piece of pineapple, I thought, all right, the chicken's a little soggy. <laughs> it's not. It's pineapple that's just the texture it should be. And when I found a piece of chicken, it was just the che texture you're looking for. So quite often, the Wild Zora meals, they, the ingredients are very fine, like they're, they're chopped up fine, that or the stirring breaks them up. And that is the case with the broccoli, but the red peppers, the carrots, and everything else are good-sized chunks in there. It's just the broccoli and the herbs that seem to have uh, either broken up or were already cut small when it was made. Okay, there is one thing that I want to mention. And this is not a negative, it's just an observation, and that is I was actually quite precise in measuring one and a half cups of water that I heated and poured in. I could have gone with just one cup, maybe a cup and a quarter, but I have about a quarter of a cup of water sitting in the bottom of this meal here. And it's not that I didn't give it a long enough time to rehydrate, it just doesn't need that much water. So uh, just a thought. If you buy the caldera curry chicken, uh, don't you don't necessarily need all the water that it calls for. It is spicy, but it's not overpowering with curry. It's just got some good heat to it. I think it could be a little bit more curry. If I had curry powder with me, I might have added that. But other than that, it's again another meal spot on. Okay, let me finish this meal up, and maybe I'll have a few more thoughts when we close the video. So when I finished my meal, I just sat back in the hammock there for a few minutes relaxing and realized just how full I felt. You know, this, it says only 340 calories, although it is 35 calories of protein from the uh, free-range chicken. Uh, you know, I, I have meals from other brands that have twice the amount of calories that sometimes I can't finish the meal, but I don't know that I feel any more full or energized from those than I do from this smaller meal. Now, you might argue that uh, 340 calories is not going to carry you a long way if you're really putting a lot of energy out on the trail. Uh, but what you will find with these meals is because of the weighting towards protein, the high amount of protein, that's going to carry you a lot farther than you think it will and allow you to have some good healthy snacks along the way so you don't overfill on any one time or any one meal. All right, so what are my closing comments on the Caldera Chicken Curry from Wild Zora? Spot on. It was, okay, I, if I was given a, a numerical rating, I'd probably say 9 out of 10, and I would detect, detect the point for um, maybe just two things. I would have liked to have seen it just a little bit more of a curry flavor, it was spicy enough, I didn't have to put any heat in it, but I think with the pineapple, the sweetness of the pineapple, it could have been balanced with just a little bit more curry. Again, that's something I could have added myself had I brought curry powder. And the other thing I think was the fact that I followed the instructions and used one and a half cups of water and I had liquid outstanding at the end of it. Now, not a deal breaker because uh, it didn't get in the way of, it, you know, make it too sloppy to eat or anything else. It, it, you could see it clearly just moved away from the rest of the food. Other than that, it, it, it's a right on meal. It's another good choice from Wild Zora. Now, bear in mind again that these are more expensive than a lot of the other mainstream meals. And there's a reason for that. And that, of course, is because all the ingredients are come from the highest, highest grade sources. They're either organic or free range or grass fed. You're not going to see anything in here that doesn't belong in a really healthy diet. There are no artificial preservatives, uh, nothing in here, no uh, fats or trans fats or anything, nothing but the goodness of good quality product. So once again, if it's that's important to you and you're looking to have nothing but the finest food with you, or maybe you have to because of you're on a restricted diet, you have to have that quality food, then Wild Zora is a good option to look at. Okay, that's all I have for you. If you have any questions about the Wild Zora meals, or specifically the Caldera Chicken Curry, please put them in the comments section below. But until I come back with another video, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.